Displacement current. According to Ampere circuital law, when a total current I through passes through an area bounded by the closed surface, then the line integral of the magnetic field around the curve is given as integration of vector b dot vector ds is equal to mu zero i through. Now, in order to find the displacement current, what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider a capacitor. So this is my capacitor where you can see this is the positive plate and this is the negative plate and let i ampere of current passes through the capacitor. Now what we are doing, we are drawing a surface right here and let this is S1 and this end is S2 and let this is curve C. Then according to the ampere circuital law, the current I through 4, the surface S1 is I because current I is passing through the circuit and then the current I is charging this end of the capacitor with positive and this end of the capacitor will be negative. So basically the first plate is positively charged and the second plate will be negatively charged. So when the current I enters over here, it also leaves the circuit. So basically the current for the surface S1, which is this surface is I and there is no current for the surface S2. So we will write the current for surface S1 is I and the current I through for the surface S2 is 0. So S1 has a current of I and S2 has a current of 0. Then from the Ampere's law, we will write the integration of vector B dot vector ds is equal to mu 0 I. Now the electric flux between two capacitor plates of surface area A is given as phi E is equal to E times A where phi E is the electric flux, E is the magnitude of the electric field and A is the surface area of the plate. The electric flux of the capacitor is given as E is equal to Q over of silent zero A. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute the value of E in this expression. And if I do that, I will write, then the electric flux becomes phi e is equal to Q over of silent zero A times A. So basically I can cancel out A. And if I do that, I will write phi E is equal to Q over of silent zero. Now, the rate of change of electric flux is given as d phi E over dt is equal to dy dt of Q over E. And if we differentiate, we will get d phi E over dt is equal to 1 over of silent zero dq over dt. So, we know that I is equal to dq over dt. So basically for this dq over dt, I'm going to substitute i. And if I do that, I will write d phi e over dt is equal to i over epsilon zero. Let's cross multiply. And if I do that, I will get i is equal to epsilon zero d phi e over dt. Now this current i is basically known as displacement current. So I will write I displacement is equal to of silent zero d phi e over dt and this is basically proposed by Maxwell. So Maxwell proposed this displacement current because he realized that there is something wrong with the Ampere's law. So basically this is my displacement current. Now the modified Ampere's law is given as integration of b dot ds is equal to mu zero inside the bracket I have i through plus I displacement. Now if I substitute the values, I will get integration of B dot ds is equal to mu zero I through plus I displacement from here is of silent zero d phi e over dt which is over here. And this is basically known as Ampere Maxwell law. And this is how we will define the displacement current.